Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training. Today I am here with Bella. This is a mare that's here in training. Bella is a warm blood mare and she was started a few years ago and now she came back here to be restarted. So she's going to help me in the subject that we're talking about today, which is starting a young horse or a green horse over fences. So what I wanted to do is just talk a little bit about some of the things that I look for that I find essential when we're starting horses over fences and then just give you some examples of what I'm describing with Bella. So there's three things that I like to think about um, trying to develop in a horse when we're starting them over jumps and the first one is straightness so we want the horse to learn to be straight and centered to the fence both in the approach and after they land so that they're going traveling straight not cutting to one side or the other. The second thing that we like to think about is having steadiness and um, a rhythmic stride before and after. So whether this is at the trot or at the canter, we want the horse to be able to keep a steady pace before and after the jump. And then the third thing that we want to develop in the horse is the ability to kind of auto correct themselves. So if they come in at an awkward um, place to the jump or if they come in on an awkward stride they're able to adjust their distance adjust their stride to be able to still have a comfortable safe jump so those are kind of the three things that i think about wanting to develop in a young horse when i'm working on training them to jump so some of the exercises that i use to start working on these three things is starting over trot poles so i'll usually begin with just one pole increasing the number of poles. As I'm going over the poles, I'm gonna think about keeping the horse straight both before and after. If I have a horse that is tending to dive or you know, turn one way or the other after the poles, I'm going to usually stop them on a straight line until they feel like they're going a little bit straighter and then we'll start continuing around the turn. Uh, as you add more, especially of the trot poles, that's gonna help develop a little bit more of the steadiness that we talked about and developing a little bit more of that rhythmic movement. The poles also help a young horse start to learn where their feet are, how to adjust their stride length in order to not step on the poles, and just become a little bit more aware of their movement. Once the horse is pretty comfortable with trot poles, I'm going to move on to cantering some poles on the ground. Again, starting with a single pole and then maybe increasing and doing more of um, like a canter cavaletti. So the horse is cantering over several poles in a roll in a row, again, with the idea being getting them used to adjusting their stride and finding where their feet are. After the trot and the canter poles, I'm gonna start building up the jumps. So usually I'll begin with a series of poles, of trot poles going into a small cross rail. Once the horse gets comfortable with this, and again, is keeping the steadiness and keeping the straightness, then we can start slowly increasing the height of the jump. And then we can also start adding a jump afterwards, typically one stride afterwards, and then increasing the number of strides so that we start to get a few canter steps and the horse is beginning to trot in and canter out. And I've found that this is one of my favorite ways for starting to introduce cantering to a fence. So they've got the idea of cantering the poles and then by doing the, essentially building a little in and out that they're trot poles to a little jump, canter stride to another little jump. It helps them start to learn how to jump out of a canter and stay nice and quiet um, and have the opportunity by using the grids where it, we have the poles and it's a basically the same exercise that we can just do over and over and have some repetition there. The horse can learn how to jump and how to handle their body, where their feet are, essentially through trial and error. And I feel that this is an important step of teaching young horses to jump, just giving them lots of time over small fences and over poles to figure out where their feet are, where their balance is when they're jumping, and just get really comfortable with adjusting themselves and being able to jump out of some short, stop, short spots, long spots, comfortable spots, until they have more of the confidence to start approaching single fences and to start making the fences bigger. So these are just a few of the things that I think about training a young horse over fences and some of the exercises that I have found helpful with my own horses and in my own training. If you have anything to add, any other exercises, any other things that are important that maybe I missed mentioning here, please add them in the comments below. I look forward to your comments, your questions, and as always, if you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, 
go there now. That's where the best conversation happens. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of CRT Training Blog.